Okay, this is a quick video on the basics of inserting a component into another component in Angular. So I'm on codesandbox.io. I am going to just create a quick Angular project from a template. So we'll grab this, we'll let it load up. Go to the app. Let's get rid of the logo. There we go. So normally you'd run in the Angular CLI, you'd run ng generate component, and then whatever the name of your component is, name of component. So you'd run this in your terminal CLI. But I'm going to do this. Uh, manually here. So I'm going to start by creating a folder. And we're just going to call this test. So if we were to run uh, ng generate uh, test, that's what we get there. excuse me, ng generate component test. That's what we get there. So inside of the test, and then inside of that, right, you'd get these files with it. You'd get the test component CSS file. Let's add a file, not edit it. You get the test. Component.html file. You get the test component TS file. And you get the spec file as well, but I'm not going to type that out. So when you generate that, you're going to get this code, and I copied and pasted this, but you're going to get your component code like this, boilerplate. And then the HTML, you're going to get, I believe it's, uh, I can't remember if it's a P, if it's a paragraph, or if it's something different. But it's something like this, where it says, this works. And that's how you know uh, when you've put your component inside of another component, you can see that it's working because this pair, little paragraph will show up and it'll say this works. So now we need to go to our module. We basically just need to import it. So import, and we call this test. So import the component, test component. And then from the test folder, test component. And then this is telling me that it's declared, but the value is never read. So what I need to do here is put it in my declaration so I can use it. test component. There it goes. Okay, so still nothing on the page here, but the last step now is go back here and tell the parent component about the child component. So now we're going to insert the child component into the parent component. And we're going to do that with this syntax. And you just saw, it just popped up on the screen. This works. From the child 
component. Let's just say named test. And that's that. So quick video. You get these files after you run the CLI command to generate a new component. You have your HTML here. The CLI command will add to the module automatically the component information so it knows where to use it. Then just go to the parent component and write out the syntax to call up the child component. And then you can edit the child component with your HTML. So quick video, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.